Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ron Sweet and Artry and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can easily get to master the mixer brush tool every single time you're retouching your images using frequency separation. So if at all you had issues understanding and learning how to use the mixer brush tool to blend the skin tones and achieve the best out of your frequency separation skin retouching process, this is a tutorial for you. And if at all you feel like this video is going to be helpful and this is what you have always wanted to look for or understand make sure that you hit the like button so let me give you a moment to hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this important tutorial to so many pe people out there or to so many beginner photographers or even advanced photographers that may need to understand how to use the mixer brush tool so right now we want to learn about frequency separation and how to apply the mixer brush tool but usually if at all you don't understand how to apply your frequency separation i want to first of all go through the basics of frequency separation in the very step or the very first instance for this tutorial then we can proceed and learn the mixer brush tool so usually frequency separation is going to divide the image into two layers so i'm just going to come to the background and press ctrl j twice to create two copies from the background layer and usually this is the low frequency layer and this is usually our high frequency layer and the low frequency layer contains the colors or skin tones and the high frequency layer usually contains the textures so if i told you have an action of frequency separation it is automatically going to create these layers for you, but i want you to really understand everything from the base because when you mess up this it means the mixer brush tool won't work best for you so make sure you take maximum attention right now so we turn this off and we select the low frequency layer then we come to filter blur and come down to Gaussian blur. So it is at this point when we determine the amount that we need to remain with in the skin area. So we're just going to come and zoom in. So make sure you look for an area that has more skin textures than the rest of the image. Then we take the radius up just like that. Gradually as you're looking at this option and make sure the preview window is on. So we want to blur out the texture so it can remain with the colors in the low frequency layer. So we're going to stop at the point when the details are just starting to completely get lost from the overall image so i'm just going to leave it at around seven that is when i'm just starting to lose out on the details in the image i'm just going to press ok then you're going to come to the high frequency layer right here and with the high frequency layer selected you're just going to be applying our textures in the high frequency layer and we want to extract the textures from the low frequency layer. so come and select the high frequency layer and now activate it then come to image and come down to apply image so when you come to apply image it's going to open up another window for you so with this under source we have the name of the image and the layer from which you are subtracting our textures is the low frequency layer and now if at all you have an 8-bit image it means the blend mode you're going to be using is subtract or pass at 100 the preserve transparency and mask cannot check the scale is turned offset 128 and make sure invert is not checked and you have the textures on this gray kind of layer but if at all you have a 16-bit image like for my case i'm just going to come and change the blend mode to add opacity at 100 percent the scale is 2 and offset this time around is at zero preserve transparency and mask cannot check and i turn on the invert option and i'll have the same results right here so i'm just going to come and press ok then i'm going to come to the blend mode because the textures are on the gray kind of layer and the blend mode that is going to reveal back the image is going to be linear so just come to the blend mode and change it from normal and come and change it down to linear light and get back the image the way it was meant to be so usually we put these two in a group by pressing ctrl or command and left clicking on both and press ctrl g on the keyboard and you can see when i turn this on and off there's no difference between the original image and our frequency separation or separated image so you're just going to open up this and in order to use the mixer brush tool right this is why you have to pay maximum attention so usually we select the low frequency layer because this low frequency layer usually contains our colors and usually we use the mixer brush tool to blend or even out the transitions within the colors or the colors or the skin tone colors embedded within our photos so we select the low frequency layer now you're going to come under the brushes and simply right click and get our mixer brush tool so you right click under the brushes and you get your mixer brush tool and for all the versions of photoshop because for my music using photoshop uh 2020 
For other versions, you may find your Mr. Brush tool embedded below here. So that is why you're going to be finding it. So it is a Mr. Brush tool. So right now, we just want to set up the Mr. Brush tool to apply or work well with the image. So what we are going to do, we're just going to come under a setting. So this is where you have to set up your Mr. Brush tool right above here. So make sure you come right here and left click to drop down and make sure the hardness is at 0%. And now make sure it is a clean brush because we don't want the Mr. Brush tool to be containing any color as we're working on different parts of the image. You can see on this image we have different or varying levels of colors or tonal ranges and we don't want the brush to carry, for example, color from a highlight and drag it to our shadows as we're trying to blend uh, the colors. Then also we have two options here, which one which says load the brush after each and every stroke but all i'm to leave that right there and the second one is the opposite which is clean the brush after each and every stroke so we want the brush to be cleaned every single time we're working on a different area so make sure you select this option right here the weight i'm going to be using is nine percent the load of 75 the mix at 90 and the flow of 100 percent so the reason for this is because usually most of the magic happens under the weight area or the weightness of the brush because usually some people tend to use the weight of 30 and they leave everything at 30 percent but if at all you do at uh, the math right uh i prefer to leave mine way way down here because i don't want to use a weight of 30 and i leave everything at at the default so i prefer to only tamp around with this weightness and i don't go above 10 percent so you may be finding different photographers using different settings, but I have used frequency separation for a while now, and I prefer to use a weight of 9%, a load of 75%, a mix of 90 and a flow of 100%. So this is another option that you have to take into consideration, which says sample all layers. So for example, if I told you click or check on this sample all layers option, it means as you're starting to paint, it is also going to sample information from the textures and it's going to paint them in the low frequency layer so let me show you this i'm just going to start painting you can see it is also painting textures because you have enabled this option which says sample all layers so we don't want that to happen so i'm just going to undo that control or command z so make sure sample all layers is not checked and when you don't check this option it means you're only going to be working with the colors within the low frequency layer which is our target or emphasis for using the mixer brush tool you want to use the mixer brush tool to mix and blend the transitions within the skin area so usually in order to see the uneven skin tone transitions in the image usually we turn off the high frequency layer and you can see the image turns to look a little bit blurry but in this case you can now closely see the uneven skin tone transitions in the overall image right there so usually if i told you mixer brush tool is showing uh is showing like this cross icon i hope you can see it right here make sure you press the caps lock key to have it looking circular like the brush is meant to be and as you're working on the image if at all you want to play around with different sizes of the mr brush tool you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard to decrease or increase on the size of the mr brush tool. so the close bracket is going to increase on the size of the mr brush tool and the open bracket is going to uh reduce on the size of your mixer brush tool so right now we just want to start blending the transitions within uh, the skin area and in this case as we're working on the skin area we want to blend colors that are looking similar and how we move the mixer brush tool we have to move it in that direction of an area that we're working on you can see for example on this cheekbone the cheekbone is moving in this kind of up down kind of movement so you have to move and follow the direction of the area that you're trying to work on so let's first of all put that into practice so how to use the mr brush tool you don't press any other key you can just you simply left click and hold down and simply drag and move the mr brush tool all over the area you're trying to work on and if at all you want to work on a different area release where you have pressed or worked on you release that left click button and press again or you left click on another area and just blend it just like that 
so come and release and paint on another area just like that so how we use this we basically uh, we are working or pick painting and mixing colors that are looking alike so that they can have that nice and even transition so you can see we have a highlight right here you can just come reduce on the size and work on that highlight so you have to keep on playing around with different sizes of the mixer brush tool and as you're using a mixer brush tool the mistake most people tend to do make sure you don't work on the image when it is all the way zoomed in because in this case you can't see uh the unevenness in most of the areas so make sure you work on a reasonable zoom right there that looks okay because in this way you can see every uneven skin tone transition so just come and mix and blend you can see that uh, this area has now been perfectly worked on so when it comes to the nose area you have you can see that we have shadows right here so just move the mr brush tool in that kind of direction and it's going to blend the colors right there and mix the highlight alone so basically that is how to best apply the mr brush tool. when it comes to the forehead you can either increase on the size of the mr brush tool you can see the forehead moves in this kind of contouring kind of movement so you have to move the mr brush tool in kind of an up down kind of movement just like that and you will be following uh the right direction for the area you're trying to work on and in this way you won't change or distort the original facial structures of the subject that you're working on so i want to show you what we have just done right here and right here so turn on the textures or high frequency layer and you can see when you turn on the frequency pressure group on and off you can see we have perfectly uh, retouched uh, this very image you can see before and after and the textures are still evident or they still exist within the image so that's a before and after so you can work on the overall image and later on clean it up after using the mr brush so basically this is how to best understand and use the mr brush tool and if i told you i found this helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if i told you i've been watching and you notice and you're not yet subscribed this channel and on top of that make sure that you hit the like button on this video if at all you have learned something new and don't forget to keep practicing because practice makes perfect and if at all you want to be perfect practice a lot so this is it for this story and i'll see you in yet another and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating